Regardless of how bad Tamar gets on my nerves, I hate to see any relationship end. You hear me? Because I am a Libra and I do absolutely believe in love, right? At any and every cost. The Libra is the sacrificial lamb for love. Until we lose respect for you, then you out the door, bitch. You out the door. Get out the door. You need me to help you pack? Shit. Take a toothbrush. Get the fuck out of here. Anyway, I was listening to my um, YouTube says Layla Lynn this morning, and she read a long post from Tamar, but y'all know it had to be long because Tamar is so dramatical. I mean, extremely, you know. Y'all know everybody. Uh, it seemed like the only people that really and truly like me, which is crazy, are Scorpios and Cancers. I don't know why y'all dig me because I'm not even half as dramatical as y'all, but y'all like me. Aquarians like me too. Chicago people like me too. I don't know, but y'all like me. Y'all emotional, dramatical, overly sensitive people, y'all like me. And I don't know why, but I welcome the love. At any rate, guys, so um, I think somebody told me that Vince was a Aquarius. Right? And what I tell y'all about them Aquariuses, them Aquariuses will say to you in your face, hey, look, I know I got these girls over here, but shut up. I can handle it. I got this. You you just don't worry about it. Just do what I say. Go over there and sit down. The boss. Right? And when you're dealing with somebody like a Pisces, an emotional, super... Um, sensitive, well, they're not super sensitive like the Cancer or the Scorpio, but they're, they're a very emotional per being. They feel from the top of their heads to the tip of their toes. So, whatever it is you do, even if you mean it or don't mean it, it's going to hurt them or it's going to make them feel some type of way, whether it's good or bad. If you do something good for them, it's it, to them, it's overly good. If you do something bad to them, it's overly overly bad if you make them you know like they're the type of person if they get high you got to end up taking them to the hospital because they don't know how to control their high they will blow you because they overly high but let's let's say this y'all know i told y'all that you know the best match for an aquarius would be um a libra or another strong slash kind of submissive type person because that's the best way how to make it work you know when you're dealing with an aquarian because the libra know how to make you think that you're in charge whereas the pisces woman the pisces woman is um so emotional that she don't really know how to control her emotions she don't know how when you getting on my nerves not to say oh you getting on my nerves the pisces um the 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 pisces woman will say, you know you're getting on my nerves, right? And then they'll be dramatic with it. The great thing now, well, hold on, because I don't want y'all feeling I'm going in on y'all. The great thing about the Pisces is that the Pisces will, will make you believe in yourself. The Pisces will make you um, feel grander than what you are, like all water signs will. Water signs will definitely scoop you up off the, out of the dirt and then push you higher but in this situation we got something different so let me get back to what my um, sister Layla Lynn um, was saying she was saying that um, Tamar alluded to some um, infidelities in a relationship on Vince's part how um, Vince basically possibly allegedly had other girlfriends but Tamar couldn't even like have friends without him knowing who they are 
it was times where Vince would say, get out my house when he had the money. Basically, you know, that sounds like something that Air Sign would say. Well, if you don't like it, you know what you can do? You know? But get out my house. But when she was the breadwinner, when when it was, you know, it was times where she could have said, you know what, Vince? Get out my house. You tripping. She didn't do that. Which is like a Pisces. A Pisces, they know what it feels like to be hurt. And their goal is not to hurt you. They don't want to hurt you. They want to express whatever feelings they have inside of them that they need to express. But their goal is, not, is never to hurt you. The Aquarius does not care if they hurt you. They are the boss. I can tell you that I, the Aquarius and the Sagittarius is the rawest form of asshole in the universe. And if you are not built for it, which Tamar Braxton is not, because y'all know, oh, she can throw the rocks, honey. She will throw them right in your face. Bow! But you better not say nothing to her. You better not say anything to her because she will break down and cry. And I think what she has done is built up a wall, you know, like she practices things to say. You know, I guess, you know, she had to when she was dealing with the Aquarius because the Aquarius is so strong and so much of an asshole. She has built up things to say, standing in the mirror, practicing, trying to say things to, to snap back at people, you know, but you're not. You're, you're, if it's not in you to be that kind of person, then it's not in you. Where as an air sign, we don't care. We don't really care. I told y'all I'm the Libra. I'm the most emotional out of all the air signs. But I'm gonna say this, you know, and I and I hate to think of relationships working on. Um, um, on on a zodiac platform, but that Pisces and that Aquarius, uh, uh-uh. if I have any naysayers that have tried it before, that have tried it before, let me know. If it worked for you, let me friggin' know. And what I what I can see is that the Pisces may say that they was absolutely in love with the Aquarius, but what I see the Aquarius saying is that. The Pisces got on their nerves. And that is sad because I just feel like, hold on, guys. It's sad because I felt like, well, golly, this attractive young lady, you know, I know everybody says she's like a Muppet, whatever. But I was like, this attractive young lady is messing with um, Vince this big guy and she's looking beyond his weight and what he looks like and she gave him a baby and everything else and I see that I see Pisces Tamar trying to make it work I really do but then I also can believe that she was going through hell dealing with the Aquarius you know not that me like if I was with Aquarius that's my like I told y'all the, one of the most perfect signs for me is an Aquarius and a Leo but in my maturity I said I don't want to fight no more I don't want to go back and forth I don't want to be dramatic so I got me old calm cool Virgo that's what I did you know I said I want some love and you know who will give you that love a Virgo pure pure love now let me say this and I'm going to close it up because I just been talking I've been talking a lot lately okay so let me say this now Y'all know in the beginning when uh, my sister Layla Lynn was reading the post, I said, oh, this sounds so daggone T.I. and Tiny E-ish. Because you know her and T.I. and Tiny are like this, okay? Well, Tamar and Tiny are like this, right? And I said to myself, oh, my God. You know, because she started it off talking about Bluebird of Happiness. I said, oh, God, here we go. A stunt. She pulling the stunts. People pulling stunts every damn way. It's just ridiculous out here in these damn streets. But she said she started to post off with Bluebird of Happiness. Then it went on into sounding like, wait a minute. This is sounding like Tia and Tiny. Whose post is this? Is this Tamika Coddles' Cott- 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 post?
post, Cottle Harris, whatever her name is, whose post is this? But then I said, wait a minute. Well, T.I. wasn't tell- wasn't disrespecting his wife in regards to get the F out of my house. I never heard of him putting his hands on her. Now, they might be doing that booger sugar together. Because y'all know T.I. has the propensity to get down with the get down. But I said, wait a minute. Vince is very disrespectful to her because what you don't do, and that was part of the problem that I had before in a previous relationship. But we get into an argument, this homie hollering, get the fuck out of my house. Get the fuck out of your house, homie. What are you talking about? To me, guys, listen, if I have any naysayer and you're living with somebody or somebody is living with you and you say to them, get the F out of my house, that's danger. Don't ever say that to nobody. Because, see, what happens is you make that person feel like, well, this ain't my home. Or, like, oh, I have no ground with you. I don't have no no type of nothing with you. You you think of me as some old hussy out here on the street. That's how you could talk to me if you could tell me to get the F out your house. That's what I feel. Because no relationship that I have been in have I ever said get the F out my house to nobody, even in the worst kinds. Because you don't do that. You know, you don't do that. Well, yeah, when I found out, yeah, yeah, I have. I, I I have once, once, I have. But that wasn't even a relationship. That wasn't a real relationship. But at any rate, guys, you know, do you all believe that this is true? Um, when I get to work, I'm going to put the link for um, my YouTube sister Layla Lynn's post in the description bar. I am this time, y'all. Y'all know I be saying I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, and I don't end up doing it. Because I'm want y'all to hear it because it kind of like broke my heart but I know she's utilizing this pain to sell her records now happy Wednesday y'all deuce